Canel, gesture. The Canel, French pronunciation, is a gesture created and popularized by French political activist and comedian Udonne Mbala Mbala. He first used it in 2005 in his sketch entitled 1905 about French secularism, and has used it since in a wide variety of contexts. The Canel became viral, with many photos posted to the internet showing individuals posing while performing quenelles at mundane places, wedding parties, high school classes, etc. In late 2013, following its use by professional footballer Nicolas Anelka during a match, Jewish leaders, anti-racism groups, and public officials in France have interpreted it as an inverted Nazi salute and as an expression of anti-Semitism. French officials have sought to ban the gesture due to its perceived subtext of anti-Semitism. Origin The name Canel comes from a dish of elongated fish balls, said to resemble a suppository. Hence, the phrase glycerune canel, to slide the canel, with a gesture evoking fisting practice, is similar to the English insults up yours or up your arse. Dudonne first used the canal gesture in his 2005 show named 1905, while talking about a dolphin. Dudonne used the gesture in various contexts, including for his 2009 European election campaign poster for the anti-Zionist party, he stated that his intention was to put a canal into Zionism's butt. Performance The canal gesture is usually performed by pointing one arm vertically downwards palm down, while touching the shoulder with the opposite hand. Although the canal is usually done with the hand at shoulder level, it can also be done with different variations, for example elbow or wrist level. Dudonne described it as a kind of up yours gesture to the establishment with an in the ass dimension. But it's a canal, so it's a bit softer, less violent. Anti-Semitic Interpretation The canal became viral, with many photos posted to the internet showing individuals posing while performing quenelles at mundane places such as wedding parties, in high school classes, underwater, or in front of the Park Osteri theme park. Dot. Following an incident in which the canal gesture was used by French soldiers stationed outside a synagogue in the 16th arrondissement of Paris, Lycra President Alain Jakubowicz wrote an open letter to Defense Minister Jean-Yves Le Drian, dated September 9, 2013, in which he described the gesture as an inverted Nazi salute representing the sodomy of the victims of the Holocaust. He also appears in the French TV show Compliment Anquet making the same claims. Dudonne and his lawyers filed a lawsuit against the League on December 13, 2013. Critics see canal salutes performed, and photographed, in front of prominent Holocaust landmarks and Jewish institutions as proof of the prejudiced intent of the gesture. Individuals have been photographed performing the gesture at the Auschwitz extermination camp, and Alain Sortel performed a canal in front of the Holocaust Memorial in Berlin. One man, now sought by French police, performed the canal at three locales connected to the murder of Jews two at sites related to the March 2012 Toulouse shootings and the other near the Paris Monument commemorating the Holocaust. Dot. According to Jean-Yves Camus, a specialist in far-right politics, the canal is a badge of identity, especially among the young, although it is difficult to say whether they really understand its meaning. Camus stated that Dudonne has become the focus of a broad movement that is anti-system and prone to conspiracy theories, but which has anti-Semitism as its backbone. Camus sees the canal as a gesture against the conspiracy theory of the existence of an international Jewish conspiracy. For him, it is an anti-Semitic gesture that has nothing to do with the Nazi ideology. Dudonne describes himself as an anti-Zionist, but not an anti-Semite. He stated that the canal is a humorous anti-system gesture which has no association with anti-Semitism, and sued against unknown, those who compare the canal to a Nazi salute. On January 23, 2014 Dudonne subsequently described the gesture as also being a sign of emancipation for people descended from slaves. Officially, French authorities have said the gesture is too vague to take any action against Dudonne. However, an official January 2014 circular issued by the Interior Ministry specifically linked the canal gesture to anti-Semitism and extremism. In August 2017, the Swiss Federal Supreme Court confirmed the conviction of three Geneva men for showing the canal in front of a synagogue while partially masked and in military uniform. The men incurred a suspended monetary penalty for violating a Swiss law prohibiting acts of public racism. Notable uses Various public figures such as the French basketball player Tony Parker, footballer Nicolas Anelka and National Front founder Jean-Marie Le Pen were pictured making the gesture. A new trend emerged, consisting of performing quenelles beside unwitting public figures identified as members of the establishment, such as Bernard-Henri Lévy. Pierre Berger or Manuel Valls, or in front of the media's cameras. 
TV host Jan Barthes publicly apologized for quinelles made by someone in the audience during his show and revealed the identity of the author. Shortly afterwards, a picture of Jan Barthes himself performing a quinell surfaced on social networks. Barthes argued that he did not know what he was doing when the picture was taken. Several people have been fired for having published photos of them performing quinelles and some people have been assaulted for the same reason. Two teenagers were arrested for having performed a canal at school. While Udane said in August 2013 that the canal had taken on a life of its own and had become something he could no longer claim as his exclusively, his wife Noemi Montaigne registered the canal as a trademark with the French National Industrial Property Institute. By professional athletes, when French footballer Nicolas Anelka of West Bromwich Albion FC performed the canal to celebrate scoring a goal on December 28, 2013, the gesture, which was already considered something of a viral trend in France, became an international news story and one of the most searched terms on Google. Anelka described the gesture as anti-establishment rather than religious in nature, and said he did a canal as a special dedication to his friend Udane. However, French Minister for Sport Valérie Fournerone called his actions shocking and disgusting, adding, there's no place for anti-Semitism on the football field. A subsequent statement released by West Bromwich said Anelka agreed not to perform the canal again. But nevertheless on February 27, 2014, Anelka was banned for five matches and fined £80,000 for this action. In response to the incident, club sponsor Zoopla announced that it would not continue its sponsorship deal with West Bromwich after the 2013-14 season. Udane, who intended to visit and support Anelka in England, was banned from entry to the United Kingdom in February 2014. Anelka was subsequently sacked by West Brom on March 15, 2014. In November 2013, a photograph of French footballer Mamadou Sako performing the canal with Udane was discovered. Sako said he had been tricked into making a canal without knowing its meaning, and that the photo had been taken six months earlier. Following the Anelka incident, a photograph surfaced of Tony Parker, a French professional basketball player who currently plays for the Charlotte Hornets of the National Basketball Association (NBA), performing the canal alongside Udane. Parker apologized saying he did not know at the time that it could be in any way offensive or harmful. French Government Reaction On December 23, 2013, French President François Hollande said we will act, with the government led by Prime Minister Jean-Marc Ayrault, to shake the tranquility which, under the cover of anonymity, facilitates shameful actions online. But also we will fight against the sarcasm of those who purport to be humorous but are actually professional anti-Semites. In a statement on December 27, 2013, France's interior minister Manuel Valls said he would consider all legal means to ban Udane's public meetings, given that he addresses in an obvious and insufferable manner the memory of victims of the Shoah. As Udane continued to sprinkle usage of the canal on his website and in internet postings, such as in his 2013 New Year's Eve video, the government took note. On January 6, 2014, Valls declared that performances considered anti-Semitic may be banned by local officials, and sent a three-page circular entitled The Struggle Against Racism and Anti-Semitism, Demonstrations and Public Reaction, Performances by Mr. Umbala Umbala to all prefects of police in France. With respect to freedom of speech in France and banning scheduled performances ahead of time, Valls wrote, The struggle against racism and anti-Semitism is an essential concern of government, and demands vigorous action. He took note of the liberty of expression in France but goes on to say that in exceptional circumstances, the police are invested with the power to prohibit an event if its intent is to prevent a grave disturbance of public order and cited the 1933 law supporting this. In addition, Valls specifically made reference to the canal, linking the canal gesture and canal trademark to Udane's racist and anti-Semitic attitudes in his internet publications. Opposition parties Most political parties in the opposition support the government's ban, including the main conservative party. UMP, and the Greens, whose leader Eva Jolie compared Udane to Norwegian mass murderer Anders Breivik. The leader of the populist right party National Front, Marine Le Pen, stated that she had no opinion about the canal and that politicians should speak about serious subjects such as unemployment, poverty or deindustrialization, not about quenelles. She later declared that the government's ban was similar to censorship. Later